today's Black Friday and it's also a customer install day. Corey's got another customer's forerunner behind us doing his pre-check as always, checking those fluids, checking the filters, just making sure it's all good. I think it's gonna be. This forerunner only has about 6,000 miles on it and it already has some suspension work and wheels and tires done too. He's got some black Rhino wheels on there and an I-Box suspension with some SPC upper control arms in the front. It's got that alignment all worked out. But today, Corey is gonna be installing a Sherpa Crestone roof rack uh, for him. So Corey can do most of the work himself, but I will need to help uh, just in certain areas so that we can make sure we don't damage the roof of the truck and make it a little easier on Corey. Um, I got all the parts laid out here. Um, the big stuff is down on the floor, but as soon as Corey's done with the pre-inspection, we're gonna get this thing, uh, yeah. But yeah. as, soon as, as soon as Corey's done with the pre-inspection, we can get the factory roof rack off because this is an off-road and it does have the factory roof rack. So there's no drilling on the Forerunner and we don't have to cut any of the channels or anything like the Tacoma. So the Forerunner installs a bit easier than some of the other ones. Um, we just need to get the factory roof rack off and then we can get started on mounting up all the Sherpa hardware and get this thing installed. That factory rack on the Forerunner right now from Toyota has a load rating of 132 pounds. That's not a whole lot. This Sherpa Crestone has a static load rating of 700 pounds. That's enough for your rooftop tent and two, two, yeah, two people. <laughs> That's enough for your rooftop tent and two people. So big upgrade there. step is getting all these feet mounted up. These go into the factory mounting location. And you got a little rubber foot that goes under there. Some new hardware. ready to put the side rails on. Can you do it by yourself? Yes. Do we recommend it? No. Especially since this is not our vehicle. You don't want to hit anything up here. When we do the front feet, we'll probably throw the, the moving blanket over the front just to be safe. So you're gonna be going in here? In that small slot? Yeah. <clears throat> None of this is tight, guys, yet. Corey left all the feet and everything loose until everything's like jigged up and then he can go around and tighten it all at once because there's a lot of lining up to do, make sure everything's square. To the other side. Step ladder, are you stuck? He's getting some of the crossbars uh, just put on those side rails to get it squared up. Again, leaving everything kind of loose. Uh, I want to say this is our fifth install. I think we did a video on each one so far. Things are starting to pick up with the installs and we really like to see that. Not just local people, but we did have Justin who came all the way from Virginia to have us do the front and rear bumpers. You should, guys should check that video out. That's an awesome video. It's really awesome to hear from all of our customers that get these installs that they found us on YouTube. And we're so grateful that all these guys trust us to do the work on their truck. If you're watching this video and you've been thinking about getting some parts for your Toyota and you're a little bit wary on doing the install yourself, or maybe you just don't have the space or time to do it, you can hit us up at installation at yodaexpedition.com. We're located in Pennsylvania, so if you guys are looking to get an install done at Yoda X and you're in the tri-state area, it's not a big drive and we'd be more than happy to take care of you. 
So I'm getting the third cross rail in here. There's a total of eight, I believe. So you can put those however you feel, depending on what you're planning on putting on your roof. You can just equally space them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of those uh, just snugged in place. And then uh, the front feet, we can go ahead and get those installed. And then the last thing we're gonna do is tighten down the bolts into the roof once everything's nice and squared and we have everything where we want it. These front feet uh, aren't going to be bolted into the roof. They just sit on the roof to support the front. So these are adjustable. So we're going to get these bolted onto the last crossbar, get that crossbar up onto the roof rack. And then what we're going to do is uh, push up on the roof rack and push down on these feet as much as we can so that there is as much tension on the feet as possible. And then we'll tighten everything in place. So you want this front to be pulled up as much as possible so that you can get these feet down as much as possible, putting uh, tension on the front, because like I said, the front is not bolted down, it's just held down with, or held with these rubber feet that sit on top of the seal. So I'm just taking a screwdriver here and I have the, the uh, handle wrapped in a microfiber and I'm just pulling up on the roof rack, shoving that underneath the front here and then pushing down on the foot, tightening that in place. And then after that, I'll go ahead and tighten down the other four feet and uh, we can get the front fairing installed. Getting those front adjustable feet just right so they're nice and snug is really important to make sure you don't have any rattling or noises when you're driving down the road. If you don't have these snug, that's where 90% of the noises from these roof racks is gonna come from. If you follow these steps here, you won't have any noises, no issues. We did this on our 4Runner and we've had zero weird creaks or noises or squeaks or anything like that. Corey's tightening down the feet that bolt into the roof. It's really important to not over tighten these, but also make sure they are tight enough. Easy way to tell is the little rubber washers on there will start to squish out the sides. That's how you know that it is perfectly tight. He's giving the side rails a little wipe down, getting all our grubby fingerprints off of there. So it's uh, got a good presentation for Mike. I love the way these look on the 4Runner. It gives us such a cool look and it's super functional, especially on the white truck. I really like it on ours and I think it looks really good on here as well. He's got the nice black wheels. Definitely going full on Stormtrooper. Is he? Yeah, full on Stormtrooper. Looks like Star Wars. What up, wheel? 
fine. No big deal, it's fine. Corey, you wanna do your outro? Should we take it outside and get B-roll? We'll get B-roll outside, we'll get some pictures outside. Get some pictures to give to him. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. We got the Crestone roof rack installed from Sherpa for Mike on his fifth gen 4Runner, and it's looking really good. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, or if you're interested in getting one of these installed by us, you can head over to yodaexpedition.com or send us an email at installation at yodaexpedition.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.